I recently shared with you all the untold horror of the first Jurassic Park novel, so today we're talking about the second. Just like the last video, I'm gonna give you a warning now, this is going to get gruesome. First, let's talk about these monstrosities. The Carnotaurus in the Lost World has some very special features. There's a point in the novel where Malcolm and crew were getting chased by the raptors who suddenly veered off and left them alone. The group quickly realizes they're in another animal's territory, and even the Tyrannosaurs were afraid of going into this area. Why? because these dinosaurs could camouflage, even adapting their coloration to the fence directly behind them. In the novel, they blend in so well they're barely visible, leading to a truly chilling sequence. Speaking of a truly chilling sequence, the Tyrannosaurs in the second novel are different yet the same as the film. They had a similar color to Rexy from the first novel. Just like in the film, they were indeed a pair protecting their nest. In the film, aside from Malcolm's group, there's an enormous group of people called the Hunters, but in the novel, it's just Lewis Dodson and two of his companions. They go to Isla Sorna with the hope to steal eggs from the island's inhabitants. Spoiler alert, neither Dogson nor his companions Howard King and George Basselton survived. Basselton was the first to die when they attempted to steal from the Rex Nest, in a sequence that's honestly kind of tragic, where Basselton tries to use current paleontology to keep himself alive. How'd that work out for you, pal? King didn't have much better of a circumstance. After their blunder at the Rex Nest, him and Dachshund are separated. As he tries to make his way back to the boat, he's murdered by raptors. And at one point, the raptors were seen holding his severed head in their jaws. And for some reason, another raptor stole his candy bar. But at least his life ended quickly. Dogson, however, gets what he deserves. He's captured by one of the adult tyrannosaurs who breaks his legs and brings him back to the nest, where he gets eaten alive by the juveniles down below. Despite some of the differences, the novel and film have some similarities too, including the trailer scene. In the novel, before he died, Basselton stepped on and broke the leg of one of the juvenile tyrannosaurs, which, just like in the film, prompted Harding to save the young animal's life, at the cost of angering his parents. But one of the best sequences in the novel is cut from the film. In the novel, there's two children, Kelly and Arby. At one point in the confusion, Arby gets stuck in a cage and the raptor gets the key wrapped around its jaw. Kelly and Arby chase down this raptor while they're on a motorcycle, with Kelly desperately trying to hit the raptor with a shot. The novels have so many intriguing and amazing things that we've never seen before, so I'll try to change that one video at a time.